Whether it's your first time here or you're a regular here at Mr. Super Raz, I just want to thank you for tuning in to the channel. It exists because I, Oz, from the channel Mr. Super Oz, I wrote a 68-page graphic novel called Everlasting Survivors. Volume 1 is called All Day Long. If you follow the link in the description of this video, you can get yourself hats, shirts, posters, all kinds of fun things, but most importantly, you can get the story itself. And the more people that pick up the story, the greater the chances are that there can be continued adventures with these heroes. If you could, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, enjoy. Normally, with a triple shot, we all go around and talk about what we think will happen, what we want to happen, and a wild card pick. But we're trying something different. Each one of us only get one this time. Josiah's going to tell us what he thinks will happen. Brandon's going to tell us what he wants to happen. And I will tell you my wild card pick for Deadpool and Wolverine. So, I think, and obviously it's going to be really shocking when I say this to you guys, I think that this movie, much like the other two Deadpool movies, will be cameos galore. You're going to see actors that you never expected to be on the billing in this movie. In fact, probably five, six years down the line, we'll find out that actors were in this movie. They were like, oh, I didn't know he was in there. Much like Matt Damon in Deadpool 2, when he was described as that chucker who was uh, talking about the, the toilet paper and the baby wipes. What? Oh, you didn't know that! Matt Damon. Excellent. Yeah, Matt Damon. You remember that. that scene where Cable <laughs> first came to the to the pass? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he stole the trucker's truck. Yeah. And the dude was talking about the baby wipes and the toilet paper, and then you go through the with the toilet paper one more time to get that extra moisture. <laughs> that yeah, was that was Matt Damon. Damon. I did not know that. Okay, yeah, so neither did anyone else. So, <laughs> so, so obviously, I knew that Brad Pitt was the Invisible Man. Yes. Uh, because that that one frame. Vanisher. Vanisher, exactly that one frame where they. But yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, a lot is, of people is he credited? I uh, no, I believe he's credited as trucker guy or toilet paper guy. Sure, sure, sure. It reason, literally was not Matt. The reason I ask is because I'm pretty sure he's uncredited for Euro Trip when he sings mm -hmm. "Scotty Doesn't Know." Oh, that's yeah, right. he is. Oh, yes, I he forgot is. about that. Yeah, and and obviously in that case, it's clearly Matt. Yeah, Damon. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, he's he's got a buzz cut and a bunch of fake tattoos. I'm about to say it's <laughs> clearly. I might Matt say Damon. you know it's him, nah. Cause I so I rewatched both movies before this uh, same, same, yeah. video because you know I love those movies. Sure, anyway. but um, now I, this time I went in like knowing it was him and I still couldn't tell. Yeah, like they did a phenomenal job with the makeup, with the prosthetics. So it's very reminiscent to me of Nathan Fillion in Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that's another good show. Because like he was just super hidden. Yeah, mm -hmm. up in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think he's in all three, right? I know he's in part three. I know he's in one and three. Yeah. I don't recall. I don't remember in him in two. Okay. Uh, but in but him and James Gunn are so tight that he tends to show up. Yeah, yeah. somehow. And so I wouldn't be surprised if he is in there. And it's kind of the same logic with Ryan Reynolds. A lot of people like Ryan Reynolds, clearly. Yeah. So like when Ryan's like, hey, let's just do something. And oh, my, like, oh my Ryan, goodness. Ryan, you know what, for you, Ryan, you yeah, know, no problem. You know what? I'm going to sprinkle my feelings on top of your... What you think will happen, and Good. say, I think Vin Diesel will be seen in this film. Yeah, Vin Diesel. And here's why. Okay. So. You gonna come and say I am group? Well, I am, and then get cut off. I think is ah. uh, possibly the shout. But the reason I say this is, um, Ryan Reynolds is in the Hobbs and Shaw Fast and Furious spinoff. I, I did forget that. And yes. and so I was like, okay, well if. If he is a part of this universe, and we're doing universal tie-in things, so yeah, it felt right. right to think that Vin Diesel might be one of those surprise cameos. Yeah, but yeah like I said, I think cameos galore. Every Deadpool movie has had them. Even the one that didn't have a budget had cameos. So, yeah, true. 
Well, and I think that it, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it was already confirmed that Patrick Stewart will be in this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, I've been trying to look at this a few photos as possible. Oh, so. my bad. No, you're good. But, I mean, let's be real. Yeah. It makes sense for Professor it Xavier. Makes sense. To, yeah, 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 I'm about to say. Yeah, it's our alter ego. I'm about to say, I know who the villain is, yeah, so, so it, would, it would piece together real nicely. Right. Well, I just mean, and, you know, Xavier School, gifted youngster. Oh, of course. That, yeah, yeah, yeah so absolutely. Felt right. One of his more famous pupils. Because I, uh, I like the, 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 the gag where Deadpool makes the joke about none of them being here and then they're yeah. all in that room and they close it's, the door on it. Yeah, just chill them like, no, yeah, yeah. we, we do not want to be in this movie. <laughs> we want a whole lot of, none of this. Yeah, uh, but no, I, I believe that that is a very accurate assessment. So, what is it that Brandon wants to see from Deadpool and Wolverine? So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to give two. But oh, that's cool. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, I want to see... Wolverine by Hugh Jackman officially retire or die okay. again, yep, like yep. he did in For Logan. For the second time. Yes, like he did in Logan. Or if they want him to hypothetically stick around, they can do another old man Logan, but he just sent somewhere so that they can get him out the fridge later on a couple ah, of years. Mm-hmm. Bust, bust and, him out in the back pocket. And bust him out and do it again. But I, I really want him to actually retire so that we can finally get someone else Sure. That, that's what I want. Well, I, uh, speaking of cameos, or, or as a callback to the cameos, I had... Now, granted, it's the internet, so you never know what's true and not, no, but exactly. I, I keep hearing everybody under the sun being thrown out as a an alternate Wolverine, whether it be Daniel Radcliffe or Henry yeah, Cavill or... Very similar to that really bad uh, Flash movie where they had, like, the 15 versions <laughs> oh, of yeah. Superman and everybody, like, popping yeah. out, like, well, what was it, Nicholas Cage? Yeah, I was going to say, it's actually a little worse than that Flash movie, because ain't nobody got paid for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Nicholas yeah. Cage is like, why are you using my face? <laughs> yeah. That movie we didn't even get to make. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, Come on, guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I, talk about. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah. I don't know well, if, if that about. will come, but with the speculation of the possibility of multiple people playing different versions of Wolverine. Mm. I think that lends to the credence of the, the possibility that Hugh Jackman could actually be put out to pasture if one of the other ones steps up and is the full-timer. Right. Because, yeah. you know, this Wolverine, it looks like it's another kind of redemption, which is fine. Redemption. Yeah. I'm about to say it's Wolverine, know. so you could yeah. have 40 redemption. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is the version that has failed, like, yeah. epically, in yeah. a big way. So Highest makes, level. Yeah, so it makes sense. Um, but, you know, I would like to see Hugh Jackman finally. It's like, I'm now officially hanging up these claws. The claws. Like someone. Yep. The, the, the button shot. Yes. Because we're going to get his costume. Yeah. We're going to look I, like we're going to I'm about to say, the only thing he didn't do while he was Wolverine was wear the costume. So the fact Ryan Reynolds got him to do that is literally like, that's tying everything in a bow for I'm me. Sure. I, well, I, I'm very excited to see the mask element of the costume brought in. Legitimately, because they've teased it in prior iterations of, mm-hmm. of, I don't remember which one is it. It's the Wolverine. Is it the Wolverine? Yeah, okay, the Wolverine. I was about to, I was about to lay out all these yeah. crazy X no good titles. X-Men yes. Well, I was gonna X-Men say X Men Origins. Oh, Origins. Wolverine. Uh, yeah, the no, Wolverine. We, we don't, we don't talk about that movie. We're Deadpool fans. Here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't. Uh, so I will say this. Mm-hmm. I think that there's just as much of a chance that. Deadpool being done so wrong le- at least contributed somewhat to being done right in the future. You know, uh, it kind of... Because being able to have fun with it and play around and, and make the gags, it to me it's not much different than how he makes fun of his Green Lantern run. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Very true. Uh, so And, and I don't, I'm not sure if you knew, but that wasn't Ryan Reynolds at the end of the fight scene. No, it is. In isn't. the X-Men Origins. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, that yeah. was Scott Atkins. Yep, whole different really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds literally said, I can't do this. Yep. Like, I will do the Wade Wolves and stuff in the beginning. Yep, and no problem, but that last yeah. fight, that's okay, not Okay, then me. that means that they have to bring Scott Atkins into this movie, don't you think? Another cameo. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, he was I mean, already in uh, yeah. Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, Jack, yeah. technically he was in, at the end of Deadpool too. He got killed, but he was there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that makes sense. I'm all for it. <sighs> well. What's our wild card? Oh, I, uh, I already... 
broke the bad news to Brandon before you arrived. Oh, Lord. So my wild card pick for what I <laughs> fear about Deadpool and Wolverine is given not much time, this movie will be irrelevant. And why I say that is in my personal opinion, everything post Endgame has felt no, inconsequential. Um, it's funny that I, uh, one of the re one of the examples I'm about to use is from a thing that I wish didn't exist, but I feel like Marvel wishes it didn't exist because they have not referenced, acknowledged, acknowledged okay. exactly. Um, the fact that there's a a celestial coming out of the earth, and ah. and and it's as if all the events of the Eternals didn't happen. Ah, that's because that movie was trash. Matter. Right, right, but my my point is, um, has anything that came after Endgame felt like oh that's gonna stick? It's it's important. It's it's relevant. It's like oh this has weight to it. Other than the new Captain American Falcon hybrid, not really. Well, even that, but I think even, we're, we're about that, to find out. Yeah, we're about to find out how... Like, I wasn't opposed to the TV show. I mean, I think it was you and I, not yeah. all three of us, but yeah. uh, that talked about it. I thought it was... I thought there were a lot of elements within it that could make for a good movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, but I thought it drug out just a touch too long in places. It, it had yeah. one episode too many. Yeah, well, that, maybe that's well, a good one. Well, the issue truly with the TV show is if you never watched it, you technically really didn't miss anything that's because good. he still gets the shield. Yep. Yeah. And that's what it was really about was is Sam worthy, but at the end of the uh, end game, you know, he, he accepts it. He's yeah, like, exactly. Thank you. So, yeah. so, you know, it, it's a nice story, but really you didn't have to watch it. And, and, and I, I, that's, I guess that's my point about everything Marvel related is it just feels like, was there any reason to watch Miss Marvel? No, no. The, no, the only thing... Was there any reason to watch Moon Knight? No. No. Well, technically, yes, but it didn't perform very well. Well, what I mean yeah, is... I get what in, you're saying. In regard to other things, right? In regard right. to the wider universe yeah. itself. So, and why I bring this up is in the original incarnation of the MCU, everything, at least in my mind, Matter. felt like it was can't miss yeah. cinema. Like, mm -hmm. if you miss this, you're going to miss a major chunk. Yeah. Of, Either yeah. the text movie or like two movies down the line. Exactly. Something yeah. like that. I get, I get and, and so that's my fear. And with that, that's my wild card pick for this is that given the the experience that has come, I've come away with from all that has been going on, uh, I, I I hope that I'm wrong, mind you. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that it it's a possibility that within short order it'll all be for nothing. Yeah, I mean... Like uh, to go off of like Miss Marvel and stuff because if you watched um, WandaVision, then you know what you will call it becomes um, the chick, the black uh, photon. Yeah, photon, mm -hmm. and then Miss Marvel is Miss Marvel, mm -hmm. and then it's supposed to finally all culminate in um, the Marvels, in the, the Marvels. Marvels, which nobody saw. I was gonna say I didn't watch yeah. that. Did yeah. you? Yeah, I, I, okay. I did. It was, it was an okay, okay movie. Okay. It was okay. Yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't, it, good. It wasn't it was the greatest movie yeah. I've ever seen yeah. or anything, but sure. it wasn't terrible. Yeah. 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 It was just okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. It was just okay. Yeah. But so it was better in, than Captain Marvel. In my in my rating system, you say it's a three out of five or a little yeah. less. Yeah. Three, three out of five. Okay. I'm just asking. Like dead That's actually. But the funny thing about that is, one of the funniest not funniest but one of the big like reveals at the end of the movie is that photon gets transported into another oh, yeah, yeah, universe yeah. and it's where the x-men are and beast you literally yeah. see kelsey garymer's beast yeah and it's like oh that's huge but yeah, that's a big no deal. one cares but no one's seen, seen it. it and it's like oh so they are introducing the x -Men. well i guess here's my my yeah. new question and that goes back to uh -huh. deadpool and wolverine will she be in this movie then if we're because what 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 X Men are we? Which right. obviously none of us. Which, which no, version no. of the ninety thousand X Men are we getting? Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, and I think that's one of the issues with the the multi dimensional story elements we're going with, whether it be the TVA from Loki, the TV show, or the you know any other variation like the Doctor Strange multiverse of madness multiverse stuff. Yeah. Is it gets very muddied 
and muddled to, 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 to even know who or what were yeah. happening. What's to, happening. To be fair, I think with the TVA, I think there's just one TVA. It doesn't matter where you're at. Oh, that's if a good I point. understand that yeah. rule yeah. correctly. But now to that, if people haven't seen Loki, I wonder will people be confused? Or yeah. will they use any of the same actors? That's my question. I think um, Owen Wilson will be. Yeah, I'm about oh, to say, I hope I so. Saw, I thought I saw something saying Owen Wilson will be. Okay, that's movie. cool. Yeah. That's cool. I'm Which, right. if he is, good. Cause yeah, he's entertaining. Yeah, right. Yeah, his Morbius, Mo- Mobius, Mobius, yeah. Mobius, Mobius, yeah. Mobius, Mobius, Mobius. But to Morbius, that, Morbius is a uh, different character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to that, uh, maybe, hopefully, they'll do something with Kang. Like maybe uh, uh, Xavier's uh, sister. I can't. What's her name? Can I? Can I? Can, can we talk about Cameron? Yeah, Cassandra yeah. Nova. What, yeah, yeah, yeah Cassandra yeah, Nova. Yeah, would Sandra. you guys bring him back or not? Uh, the, the actor? actor? Nah. Okay. Well, for me, the actor, yes. I think that they could easily do another. Um, the director of uh, Guardians. Yeah, um, James Gunn. Yeah, James Gunn. They Redemption kicked, Yeah, they literally kicked James Gunn off and said, no, you're not going to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, okay, fine. You're I just break. feel like that it's cooled down so much yeah. in the, the in a very short order. Right. That, that, my, my opinion, right, is, and I, this, uh, granted, this might be because I'm a pessimist and I don't, sure. I don't trust well, I mean, people. there's no right or wrong answer. I don't know. I'm just asking. I just, I know how people react when people who've done what he's done in, in movies tend to like boycott or just not yeah like but want people to be a boycott and everything like, like, like yeah i mean I, I get it me I, personally like, i would I like, still watch the movie because like, like, he's a good actor that's what i was saying yeah. I, I i like this this actor a lot yeah um but yeah i just and you know it's probably my love for the rocky franchise that yeah, really does it yeah yeah, yeah. but for me. but like i just personally i'd just be like all right come on back yeah, yeah. I, like so, yeah well my my thing is just like because I also know how studios think to a degree. Sure. Uh, obviously, as much as I can about being in the industry. Sure, sure. They, the first thing they're thinking about is their wallets. They're of course. They're thinking about what's going to make money. So if they think for any reason that him being in the movie is going to cost them money, they're not going to bring him back. What, what will honestly have to happen is if he has another movie come out recently and it's a smash hit, a la like Will Smith. Oh, yeah. People say, oh, I'm done with Will Smith, and then Bad Boys 4 comes out. Yeah, I'm about to say Bad Boys 4, and I was right there, baby. And still no I have not enough. seen it. You haven't seen it? Uh, no. Um, oh, man. Let me know but, what you do. But what I will say is if they put out a Men in Black 5, and Will Smith was hey, up in there. Those movies? Yeah, there was four. International. Oh, right. Yeah, right, so because right, well, right. Will Smith what, would save it from the... the I didn't like international that much. Yeah, yeah. Point. but yeah. bringing. Bro, I mean, you see, I forgot about it. So. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, I, I wish it didn't get didn't, released. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, you bring him back to that. I'm, I'm buying my oh, ticket all day. Yeah, 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 my yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in the Ooh, theater. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Slide on in. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Like, did you remember that they were supposed to do a crossing? Oh between yes. Yes. And Jump yes. Street yes. And Black. That would be insane. Yeah, I want that so bad so for just it. to oh see. Like, it could be horrible or it could be one of the greatest things in the world. Honestly, even I if it's horrible, it's gonna be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life. So, like, I'll actually enjoy it either way. Yeah. But well, and I actually think that even if. It's not Twenty One Jump Street. Cast Jonah Hill and and Channing Tatum for yeah, just like man. I'm I'm cool with it. Like, yeah, yeah just recruit them. Yeah. Like that, just, just, just yes, recruit them. Like, just, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> that way it's canon what they did. Yeah, but like they're just now and then at black the now. end they just get they buzz themselves. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Uh. Um, but yeah, I mean, the state of the MCU is like what people have been saying now for the past like year and a half plus. It it it's shaky because. It could lead, literally lead to something. Because New World Order, uh, we talked about Brave a New World. Bit. Yeah, Brave New World, thank you. Um, it used to be called New World Order. Right. That was the original title. Right. Okay, I thought um, they were bringing in Hogan and yeah, uh, Scott Hall. I was yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, at first, I was against Harrison Ford because I was like, Harrison Ford is old. Can he, like, rest, please? Yeah, isn't he 80? Yeah. He is, but My that God. trailer. Yeah, yeah. that told me. He was amazing. The, the, Again. Yeah. Which is, I'm like, Harrison, all right, can, all right, all right. Harrison, while, you've while, had twenty amazing rules. You while, can take a while, break. While we're talking about it, let's 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 go there. They recast Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 do you think they should have, or are you for them not recasting T'Challa? T'Challa. So, I still am against the idea of them recasting T'Challa. So, personally, I always said. Because Hollywood is a business. Yeah. And it's always been a business that, yes, 
you simply just recast. I'm with it. Um, and here's why. Yeah. They're not shy to do it anyway. Yeah. Like, and it's also, if if there's ever a time to recast, it's the person can't do it. It's not like we're being a yeah. dick about it and saying, oh, we hate you. Yeah, like, it, it's definitely if, like he was still around. They're like, oh, we just don't want you anymore. I'm like, yeah. why? Like, that's, yeah, it's a big I, I get that. But, like, yeah. Like, we, we recast uh, Edward Norton. Correct. We recast uh, uh, Terrence Howard. Howard. Okay, pretty much anyone in the Hawk franchise we recast already. Actually, except Bet- Betsy. Oh, she actually just hasn't come back, though. Yeah, she just hasn't been. Liv yeah. Tyler. Oh, yeah, I, I'd, I'd welcome Liv Tyler showing up in, uh, in uh, Brave New World, though. Yeah. Because I think all. she's... Or Thunderbolts. That's yeah. where I would Sure, right yeah. yeah. Thunderbolts, yeah. I'd love to see Thunderbolts. But... Um, yeah. But anyway, like I said, I don't think, again, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. Yeah. But I just, when you have that consistency of being willing to change anything anyway. Yeah. 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 And plus, you know, there you could see the original plan for the Black Panther 2, mm-hmm. and then you could see where the new stuff was yeah. added. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could, I, you could I definitely see that. And don't get me wrong. It's, it is sad. It is devastating that, mm-hmm. you know, the real man didn't make it. Yes. But that doesn't it sh- it doesn't mean you have to kill off the, the fictional character is all I was getting at. Right. It, it, I, I, I get you. Well, yes, you can make arguments for both, but uh, to me, oh. I always just view. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's funny because I have the exact opposite opinion about Brian from Fast and Furious. Uh, the minute Paul Walker died, I was like, kill off the character. Because it bugs the hell out of me that, that the character's alive around. in the, yeah. the ether, but you right. can't see yes. him. Yes, that's the one thing where it's like... They but they also don't and have a track just record around, of recasting, Not though. coming back, being, You know what I mean? So that, that's happy. the other thing. Like, they don't have a track record of recasting, yeah. so maybe that's the, the disconnect. They should have killed him off right when the car exploded, yeah. when he grabbed his baby and he saved it. Oh, yeah, that well, I, I, thought he, I thought he should have fallen off when that RV is going down the cliff. cliff. Because yeah. that way you don't see it, right? right. You just see it fall, yeah. and you never see him again, and everybody's hurt. I know? personally thought they should have just ended Fast and Furious. Well, well that's... Yeah, 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 don't get me yeah. wrong. <laughs> I, I can be sold on that. <laughs> that that, that would have made everything fine. Yeah. Because they really just did three extra movies just because, and that's three? unnecessary. Yes. Three extra? Sorry, four. I oh, forgot they're making another one right now. I was about to say, yeah, we're at right yeah. now. Because uh, Hobbs and Shaw has to uh, come out <laughs> and then tie everything, and then The Rock. Who literally said, I ain't coming back to this damn franchise. Jesus, said, uh, you know what? The bank is looking a little low. Well. Uh, I'll, I'll hey, no, it, his bank is fine. The problem is his popularity he isn't where he yes, wants it to okay, be. True, true. Oh, my goodness. I'm about yeah. to say, yes. appreciate you. Yeah. Good work, team. Uh, Brandon. Always, side. Uh,